Good afternoon. Uh, welcome to Citizen AY, the platform where we speak truth to power. This man that you see in the video is pleading for our help. Um, let's hear his story, then we can talk about it. Uh, let's hear his story. The Honorable Chief Justice of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, the Honorable Attorney General of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, my name is Olupe Lumifagoyegun, and I am calling you to please come to my rescue and rescue me from the Ondo State Judiciary, which has been run like a family affairs, that if you don't know anybody, you cannot get justice. I have been living abroad for over 30 years. I came on holiday to Nigeria to my father's house because I share the same father with the Chief Justice of Ondo State. I was arrested at my father's place. I was locked up. I was charged with forceful entry into my father's house. Even if I was convicted of this crime, it only carries one year penalty, sorry, one year prison penalty. But I have been on remand, open remand, for the past three years. This case has been going on for three years because the Chief Justice of Ondo State is using a power to influence the, 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 the judicial system have been unable to get justice. They have changed judges five times. They have rearranged me five times. They have changed their charges five times. And up to today that I am talking to you on the 15th February, 2021, this case is still pending. Please, come and rescue me. Come and rescue me. Help me. The Ondo State government cannot help me because Ondo State government is a family business. Help me, I'm begging you. Buari, help me from the hand of this woman. I want to go back to my family. I want to go back to my children. I am a single parent. This woman is keeping me here for the past three years. For coming to my father's house, please help me. I'm begging you people. I want to go back to my family. Very cheerful. Very cheerful. Um, it just tells you the, the level of failure of governance, um, the level of lack of... Uh, respect for the rule of law by even those who uh, call themselves um, officials of the judiciary, high officials of the judiciary. Let's hear his name again. And we want to do some work. Republic of Nigeria, the Honorable Attorney General of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. My name is Olu Pelumi Fagboyegu, and I am... Okay, his name is Olu Pelumi Fagboyegu. Let me just put this here. Now, I'm trying to do something here. I'm going to do it as I'm talking to you live now. I'm going to do some check on that name. Uh, I want to read the story a bit more. You heard what he said. Um, the Chief Justice of the state used her powers to jail him for three years. Even though if he was convicted, he would only be spending one year for the legal entry into his own property, the father's property, even if he was, but he's been scared for three years. You had, we said that they've changed judges five times. All of that's delay tactics. They've changed, they've rearranged him five times and the case is still pending. And that's cruel. Now let's see if I can dig up something in terms of uh, um, the case. Um, and you know, I, I saw something about it, but I couldn't put it together. So, Look where Lumi Fagboyegu. Yeah, okay, let's go. Let's go. I think I got something. Yeah, let's get that now. Let's get that and read the case a bit more. And then I will then show you what I think. Uh huh. Now, so I'm going to read the story to you a little bit. So we can understand. And I'm showing the picture of the judge as well. Uh, let's, you know, we have to make her famous. She, she can't get away with this like this. Now, that's him there. Now let's go and get the picture. 
and I'll read the story above for you just so we can follow what's going on. Uh, one second, please. I hope this works. Uh, it's um, somewhat. Can you all hear me? Can you see me? Uh, I don't know what's going on here. Okay, let me just see if I can get this right. Okay. Okay, now. Uh, okay, now. Uh, give me a minute, please. Just as ever, you know what I'm trying to do here now. You know what I'm trying to do here. So what's there? Let's go in here and go. Now, good. Now we've got the case up here. It's going to be above my head and I will read it to you as we get along as course. Of course, as, as ever. Uh, that's what we try and do. We try and give you as much information as I can about this situation. Now, stepbrother accuses Ondo Chief George of illegal detention for three years. Now, let's read the story. Um, I played the video, you saw that. Now, let's read the story. A man, Uluakwe Lumi Fagbo Yogun, has alleged, Fagbo Yogun, I think, um, has alleged that the Ondo State Chief George, Olani Wadjo Akiri Dolu, detained him for three years for going to his father, father's house. So, let's, uh, let's, uh, let's, uh, one second, please, one second, please. Just give me a second. Uh, yes, so um, it seems as though the uh, uh, it's something to do with. Let me just read this to you again, as we were saying. Uh, one second. So, according to him, the Honorable Chief Justice of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, I'm calling you to please rescue me from the hands of the Ondo State Judiciary that is being run like a family affair. That if you don't know anybody, you can't get justice. I've been living in abroad for the past 30 years. I came on holiday to Nigeria to my father's house because I shared the same father with the chief judge of Ondo State. I was arrested by my father's at my father's clave. I was locked up and in locked up I locked up in was charged and was charged with the forcible entry into my father's house. Even if I was convicted of this crime, it only carries a one year prison penalty. But I'm been on I've been on open remand for the past three years. Exactly. So anyway, that's what the story that's what the key thing is here. This is the, the judge, chief justice here. I want to just highlight that. The lady here is the chief justice. This lady here. See, she's the chief justice. That one there. And that's how the relative of kind. So let me just read what her name. What's her name again? Onlare Waju, Chief George. Her name is Chief Onlare Waju Akere Dolu. You see? So that she is. And that is the brother. Stepbrother. No, so he's been, you know, illegally imprisoned. This is very, very wrong. Um, the the state governor should really be. Uh, 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 this should really uh, be. No, I'll be accepting this. Uh, there, I'm sure, no doubt, they are related. Akiri Dolu. I'm sure of it. Um, so this is very, very young, wrong. And that she, apparently she must be the uh, related to Akiri Dolu Senior and the governor. Uh, but this is terrible. You know, <clears throat> uh, so it's now the governor said, Akiri Dulu, the governor said, I've instructed my AG to investigate our education. We will ensure their inv the investigation is thorough and fair and transparent. Uh, uh, it's just, I directed the governor to be prosecuted. Now, I mean, Titi Loye, in a statement, Titi Loye Akiri Dulu is now speaking. Now, let's see what she's saying here. Let me just see. So, her name is, like I said, uh let me see i want to just make sure i get that name right uh uh let me see what's her name again uh one second i just want to get that name right because i saw it um now titi loye exactly titi loye uh let me see uh, 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 also reacting to the, the also reacting Attorney General and Justice Commissioner Charles Titilo you said the governor uh should be directed to that election be prosecuted. I understand that. So so uh now the whole thing is terrible since twenty fifteen. Um and the past three years. Wow. 
So, I mean, it's going to be, it's, I mean, this is 2021. Um, I'm just trying to see what this is going on. 2051, my God, 2021. So it's still in, uh, this is crazy. Uh, this is absolutely crazy. And the, this is a, you know, a clear injustice. Uh, let me just get the name of the judge again, please. Uh, the woman. So... I just want to get the name of the judge. So Honorable O.O. Akere Dolu is chief judge of Ondo State. Is um, from what we understand. And the whole thing is crazy, you know. Uh, the chief judge is refusing to speak, which is this lady here. This lady here. Uh, let's, make sure, let's make her famous. Now, I know it's a family affair. That's the lady there. Uh, she's been overly harsh against her own stepbrother. I think it is stepbrother. I, I think they're probably not the same father, same, father, same mother. Um, but they're related to governor. And, um, you know, it's not, it shouldn't be a family affair. And like I said, it shouldn't be a family affair. It shouldn't. Um, so, uh, she's a stepbrother to the chief judge. Exactly. So the chief judge is wielding our power in a, in a wanna, when we get Oduduwa Nation, these are the kind of things that we will not allow to happen. Uh, we will not be allowing this to happen at all. Um, uh, so, Mr. Oluwakpelumi Fagboyun, her brother in the video went viral. That's the one. So, I presume she's probably um, she's a brother, uh, but you can see the name. She's married, obviously, um, to Akeo Dolu somehow. Not not this one, but you know what I mean. There is some kind of connection there. But her name, his name is Fabo uh, Fabo Yogu, you know, um, and and she somewhat has been rather uh, um, cold in the manner in which she's dealing with this case. It's horrendous. It's unacceptable. Uh, we need this resolved. Uh, like I said, when we go to Dua Nation, uh, you know, it's not going to be tolerated. We shouldn't be accepting this kind of thing. This is a, a terrible situation. And what is bad now is that efforts to reach the chief judge proved abortive as her aide said she was out of town. So it's very convenient for her to be out of town. But the man who has been stopped from seeing his family for three years or more, because he said 2015, it may well have been five years. Uh, it, it's terribly wrong. Um, the Honorable Chief Justice, Honorable Justice O.O. Oh, oh, Delu must, 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 you know, she must, uh, you know, with sweet, you know, ensure she complies with the rule of law. But um, Governor Tikeri Delu must ad attend to this. Uh, this is unacceptable. Like I said, um, the guy is crying out, and you can see he was crying in the video. Um, listen, I'm not going to say too much more about that. All I wanted to do was just come and say that um, when we get Ududua Nation, uh, the, nobody will be above the rule of law. The judges must comply with the rule of law. They must apply operate within the rule of law, not put themselves above the, the rule of law, which is what she's doing in this case, and using the support of the governor to do that. And that is, uh, that's unfair. That's not justice. Um, so... Um, Please do share this podcast, click the subscription button, and uh, of course, share. Uh, thank you for watching. You've been watching this is a nail. Um, I'm doing something here, and this is just to help. I have this product, product that I'm using, AG Serra. And that product, product um, it's, it's a, it's a plant-based product. Um, and what I, I've started using it myself. I've been using it since about, what about December time. I started using it. And um, I've been keeping notes. Now, it's one sachet a day. You take a sachet a day. Yeah, so I take a sachet a day, uh, in, one in the morning, I do, um, and that's what it is. And you just open it and pour it onto your tongue um, and in the morning before anything else, and then you drink warm water with it. Now, what I've done, I, as you all know, I've got chronic pain. So with the chronic pain, it made things really bad. And a friend of mine who also had issues, she said, oh, why don't you try this? I, this is what I use. I try and it helps me. And I thought, I tried everything else, CBD oil, everything else. It wasn't really, after a while, it wasn't really helping. 
So I used it. I started using this for about two months now. And, and I can see that it is helping. I'm not saying it stopped the pain totally, but it's made it manageable for me. I'm, it's more manageable. I'm still in chronic pain. I still can't walk far because of my chronic back pain. I've got metal plates in my back. So that is um, an issue. So I use a mobility scooter to get around if I have to walk far, you know. Um, but, I'm, you know, all that, I'm still doing this because I passionately believe in our nation. But this is something that it might be beneficial to people. And this, they sell this product all over the world. So um, if you're interested, um, do get in touch to, with Citizen AY. Leave a message in the comment box or inbox me on the number that you see there, WhatsApp me, and uh, talk to me about AG Sarah. And uh, I, I can tell you how we can go about doing that. Um, and that can be helpful. Um, this is all to help. Um, what I would actually like to say is that um, I recognize that we have our own products back home. Um, what we need to do to be able to, to have safety and security to allow those things to flourish. And then we can promote it just like we're promoting this. Because they can only promote things like this from Malaysia and other countries because their country is very safe and secure. We don't have that in Nigeria, in that contraption called Nigeria, or in Yoruba land. And this time, when we get Yoruba land, these are the, we are going to provide conditions in which people, our local medicines will, will, be, will be sold around the world and promoted just like we're promoting this one. So, but in the meantime, please, if you can, if you're interested in this, if it can help you, um, it can, it's meant to help with in terms of um, diabetes and other things as well. It's meant to, to help. I don't know, but I can only vouch for what I've gone so far. If, you, if it resonates with you, please do share it. It's called AG Sarah. Get in touch. Uh, the number is on the screen. Um, so there we have that done. Uh, what I want to say at this point is please subscribe to us. Click on the button that you see on the screen, the red button on Citizen AY on YouTube. Go and do so now. I thank you all for joining me. Talk soon. Bye for now. Bye. Please donate to Yoruba Rescue Fund. It is time to build a great generation.